Hello everyone! How are you? Thank you so much for watching. I've missed you guys. I know I've been MIA and I know in the past six months I've probably said the same thing in every video and it's probably really frustrating to hear it over and over and over again. But I took some time off. I feel like myself again and I'm ready to come back on here and talk about some things and I figured what better time to do a Q&A than now. So I know you guys have so many questions and I had posted it last night and you guys have been sending me tweets all night long and I'm gonna go through some of them and answer some of your most requested questions. So it feels so good to be sitting and filming for you guys today. I have been waiting for this moment and I really wanted to make sure that I was happy and myself again before I came on and did this because I never realized how much you guys really, really know me and if I'm not having a good day or if I'm not feeling my absolute best, you guys can feel that and you can feel the energy and I just wanted to take some time off, regroup, find myself again, find my happiness again and I can honestly say I'm in a much better place now than I have been for quite a while now. So I'm going to go through some of your questions right now so if you guys want to hear what they are then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with one of the most requested questions. This one is from Chantel Flower, and she wants to know, did Charlotte ever eat her Thanksgiving dinner? So if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I put out a big Thanksgiving feast for Charlotte and her family. And for those of you who don't know, Charlotte is my pet deer that's outside who comes and eats out of my hand. And yes, they ate everything. I left it out for like two extra days and everything is officially gone. So they enjoyed their Thanksgiving feast. So I saw some people asking that and I know that's been like the most requested question, right guys? So I just wanted to fill you in that yes, she did enjoy her feast and they ate every little bit of it. Michelle Garcia would like to know, what is your favorite book? So I talked about a few books Probably, it's been probably over a year, so I'll mention them again. So some of my favorite books that I have on my iBooks that I've read, some of them I read like three or four times, such as The Untethered Soul, Seat of the Soul. I also love the book The Surrender Experiment. That's by Michael A. Singer, who is also the author of The Untethered Soul. So I started reading those books back, I'm gonna say like four years ago maybe even longer. I had a lot of family things going on when I was like really first starting out my YouTube channel or maybe it was like a year into my YouTube channel and I turned to books for like self-help and just to like learn more and it really 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 helped me through all of my hard times. So whenever I'm feeling a little bit low or if I'm feeling I'm like, like I'm not having a good day, I'll always go back to those same books and just to kind of relearn what they were teaching because those specific books have really helped me um, think clearly about certain situations and just kind of get back down to earth and just to realize that although some problems may feel like the end of the world, they're not and there's always somebody who has it 9,000 times worse than you. So those are the books that I always tend to go back to and I really highly recommend if anyone is looking for some self-help books or just kind of like a new way of thinking. I would say that they've definitely shaped my personality for the better and once you read them, the first time it's a little confusing, second time maybe even so, but if you just keep rereading it and keep re-reminding yourself, it all kind of just clicks and makes sense. So those are the three that I really, really love. I also love Mitch Album. He was one of my favorite authors growing up. So the ones that I have on here are Tuesdays with Maury. Amazing book, I highly recommend. The Five People You Meet in Heaven, For One More Day, Have a Little Faith, Have a Little Faith was really, really good. And then The First Phone Call from Heaven, I didn't finish that one yet, but that one I'm currently reading, it's by Mitch Album as well. So those are my top, top books. If any of you guys have recommendations, I'm always looking. So although I'm a very visual learner, it's books like that that really help shape my mind and help me open up my way of thinking so I think those are definitely my favorite books. Tammy Skyla would like to know what is your favorite foundation at the moment and she says I love you. I love you too girl. So if you guys have been watching my full face tutorials for a while I've been using the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. These are discontinued everywhere. They're not available on her website. They're not available on Ulta anymore and I just found the Luminous Finish foundation on QVC. I've been using the Luminous Finish and the reason that I really love Fiona Styles is because the colors are just really 
perfect for my skin tone. I have like an olive skin tone and sometimes my foundations are either too yellow or too pink and I just found that this color was perfect for my skin tone. So I've really been liking the luminous finish as well. It's obviously a little bit different than the matte but again the matte is just completely discontinued which I don't understand why she would do that. And the colors that I have this in are 5 and 6. That's when I'm a little bit more tan and then I also have the matte foundation still in number 4 but this is when I'm a little bit paler so I'm trying to use it sparingly because my number five of the matte is completely gone. Genesis Nicole would like to know, what accomplishment are you most proud of? The accomplishment I am definitely most proud of is the scholarship program that I created in Cambodia. We raised over $150,000 to send girls to college to get an education in Cambodia and I went out there back in April which was the most amazing experience of my life. I was able to see the dorm rooms that they were building with the money that we donated and um, I just received an email two days ago from the founder with a video and some pictures of the girls and I was just bawling in tears and it's just something so amazing and I just hope to continue to do more and more things like this. Like. I feel like this is why I was given my platform to do good things and there's so many things that I do that I don't talk about because when you do good things for others you do it for yourself and not to show off to other people but that is one thing that I am super proud of and I think it up to date that is like my most proud thing that I have accomplished. I was waiting on the clouds to break. <laughs> good, good. I was praying for <laughs> And every sleepless night that I have known has brought me here And so I hope that times will change And I'll feel safe and you won't go away Hello Kali I went to be a banker Now I can Thank you Kali Hello Kali, you made my dream come true I want to be a rural development officer uh, You have um, opportunity for me, so I thank you so much. Hi, Kelly. I miss you. Please visit our soon. Kelly, you have changed my life. I love you so much. <laughs> Hello, Kelly. Your kindness touches my heart. Hello, Kelly. You make my dream come true. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for our scholarship uh, education at Red Hope Institute. Uh, I want to be see you again, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. I'm Kelly, your content. Thank you. Hi, Kelly. Uh, I'm can be a teacher because of you. Hello, Kelly. I want to be a nurse. Hello, Kelly. I miss you. See you soon. Hello Kelly, I love Bray Hope and I love you. You are so beautiful. Here you are. See my You are mine. You are mine. Thank you, Kristen at K Proto would like to know. Hi Carly, I love you. I love you too. Um, just want to know what you do to make yourself feel better on really low days. Some things that I like to do, which I've definitely talked about, um, I love listening to country music. A lot of it's depressing and sad, but it's kind of nice to hear songs that can relate to the situation that you're going through. So one of my favorite things, which I've talked about before, is I just love to kind of just drive windows cracked if it's cold out or windows down if it's warm out and then just kind of blasting music and just singing at the top of my lungs and for me that just like clears my head I stop thinking about my problems and I just kind of focus on the road and the music and that for me is like therapy I also find it very helpful to talk about how I'm feeling with either my mom or my best friend um, you know it's always good to let things out and not keep it in that's one of my faults I would say is I keep a lot of stuff in and I dwell on it and then I don't realize how much it's actually affecting me until I have other people pointing it out or calling me out on it so I think one of the biggest things that I recommend for you guys and something that I found that works for me is if you're feeling a certain way if you're having some issues or some problems like talk about it with somebody and if you don't have somebody to talk about it with maybe go and see someone to talk to like a therapist or something like that and I know some people are like ugh, therapist like I would never trust that I would never want to talk to a stranger about my problems but you'd be surprised how just being able to talk about it or even writing it down writing it in a journal 
journal, just getting it out of your head and on to a piece of paper or out into the world, it's gonna help you feel so much better. So that's definitely something I would recommend for you guys because as much as you think it's not affecting you and as much as you think you're so strong and you can keep it all in and you can deal with it yourself, I promise you it's gonna be a lot easier just getting it out there and getting it off your chest. And um, yeah, so I think that would be my piece of advice and that's also something I like to do when I'm feeling down. Holly Sutherland would like to know, what's the one thing that motivates you and helps you be so positive? I have so many different things that motivate me. Um, I would have to say though, like the past year, I have been kind of unmotivated and I've kind of been in like this weird like fog um, because I was dwelling on so many things and I was just not happy in so many different aspects of my life and I know that's like probably so weird to hear because you guys see like the best parts of my life on social media and stuff like that but as perfect as people make their lives look and as perfect as you guys may think my life is, like it's so far from the truth. And I think that's one of the problems with social media nowadays is like, you guys only see the good parts and then you compare your lives to that and you think like, oh, well like what am I doing wrong or why does my life suck because I don't have all these nice things or I don't look like this person or I don't have these nice clothes and all that stuff. And I just think it's like a toxic way to view your life. Just know that every single person on social media whose life looks perfect, I guarantee you that it's not. And I think that's the problem with social media is like we're all afraid to show like our flaws or like our hard times and stuff like that because I don't know, it's like this certain image we try to like withhold. People in my everyday life, my friends, my family, like they know me and they know I'm so far from perfect. And I guess I'm sorry that I don't show more of that, but I don't know, it's hard. It's hard to like put yourself out there, A, and then B, like show like the real reality of life and stuff like that. So I got so off topic, but the one thing that does motivate me is, I would say you guys motivate me probably more than you even know. When I don't provide content for you guys and when I'm not staying active on my social media, I feel like this overwhelming stress because I feel like I'm letting you guys down and I get really hard on myself. So I know you guys constantly see like the positive side of me, but I'm not always that positive, although I try my best at all times to remain as positive as possible. But there are so many times where I'm unmotivated and I'm down on myself and I'm hard on myself and I'm always comparing myself to others and stuff like that. And I feel like I just needed some time to just reevaluate how I was feeling because there are so many amazing good things happening, but I have so much going on in my personal life and that really affected my work life. So it was like, I was living like this double life basically where I was enjoying all of the great moments and like trying to live in the moment and just be super excited. But I also had so many other things that were bothering me on a daily. And it's hard to balance when things are going so amazing in one area of your life and then it's not so amazing on the other aspects. So to get back to the question again, something that really motivates me is I feel so blessed that I was given this opportunity and I really strongly believe I was given this platform to do good and to do good things and to help you guys. And I feel like I don't come on here and talk enough to you and I know a lot of you guys only watch me because of my makeup and you want to learn how to do that, that's great, but I mean the reason that I started this whole thing was to help people and when I started my inner beauty channel, like I lived for that, like getting to interact with you guys and getting to talk to you guys and helping you through like tough situations because every single one of us is going through something and when you have someone to maybe give you a little bit of advice and maybe a little bit of their own personal life experience, when you hear something that relates to your life and you, you know someone's going through something similar, you listen to what they have to say versus someone in your life that's telling you what to do but you don't you feel they don't understand you or they don't understand what's going on and then you just kind of have it go in one ear and out the other. So I think the key to staying positive is to just always remember that we are here for a very short period of time on earth. If you think about how long the earth has been here, like say we're blessed and lucky that we get 80, 90, 100 years on this earth. Like that is such a small period of time and you just have to try and not let your struggles get the best of you and just try to always see the positive in the situation and try to look for the positive and count your blessings and think of like, you know, you woke up today, you're able to breathe, you're able to see, you're able to walk. 
Like, some people don't even have that luxury. So you just gotta really focus on the little important things, not what you don't have, not what you can't get. And I know money struggles are definitely like a big top priority for a lot of people, but I think if you focus so much on all of that and all of the negative, like, you're not gonna ever get out of that place and you just have to make plans, write stuff down, set goals, and just see more for yourself and see more for your life because when you envision your life being better and you write stuff down and you actually follow through with things, you will make big changes and only you have the power to change your life. There's nobody that's gonna ever do it for you. You can't sit back and wait for someone to do things for you. You have to take matters into your own hand and you need to take control of your own life and do what's gonna make you happy because at the end of the day, no matter how many people you try and make happy in your life, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you're not happy, nothing else matters. So you have to focus on you, you have to focus on getting your life right, your life happy, and then you can worry about all the other struggles and problems that come with life because then you'll be able to face anything. Like You just have to be a strong, independent person, not depend on anybody, and just get your head straight and remember what's important and what's not important. So I feel like I just rambled on and on and on and I hope that made some sort of sense, but yeah. So I know 99% of you guys watching this right now all have the same question and it's not like I'm avoiding it, I just kind of wanted to like loosen up a little bit before I brought it up, but I guess now is the time to kind of address the elephant in the room. I know it's like my most requested question. I know it's all over social media for the past couple of months and everyone wants to know if me and Brett are still together. So I wasn't ready to talk about anything for a while and I feel like now I'm ready to at least bring it up and just let you guys know what the deal is because we made our relationship so public and I mean, you guys saw like the best of us. You know, we made videos together and like you saw like the photos and stuff like that, but we are broken up, so I know I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I know you guys are probably upset, like, think about how I feel. It wasn't something that was fun or ever planned or what I ever thought would happen, but it is the reality, and I respect him so much as a person, and I know we'll remain friends, hopefully forever, because we have been through so much together. Yeah, it's hard to talk about. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna say, but... Like, he's such a, an amazing person, and I wish nothing but, like, the best for him. But, again, you guys only get to see, like, what it's like through social media and on videos and stuff like that. But you're not there on, like, a daily, everyday basis. So, there was so much that I'm not going to get into because out of the respect for him and me, like, I think it, it deserves privacy. Um, and I really, like, had nothing prepared on, like, what I was going to say. Like, my mom was like, alright, well, like, what are you going to say? And I was like, I have no idea. I'm just going to kind of sit down. Whatever comes out, comes out. But I just want to let you guys know that, like, it just... People change and people grow apart. And I don't want you guys to think, like, I saw so many people saying, like, if you two broke up, like, how could we ever believe in love? And I don't want you to ever doubt that there's not love out there, real true love. And, like, I will always love him and I, he will always have a place in my heart. Like, he's, we've been together through so much. But there comes a time where you need to worry about you and your happiness and that needs to come first and foremost. So a lot of the relationship that you saw was through social media and obviously like I mentioned earlier, like people show their best parts of their life on social media. You never see what happens on a daily basis. You never see like all of that stuff. So I just wanna say for those of you guys who think you can't believe in love now, like please don't think that. I don't think that. Like I still believe in love. Like I my grandparents were married 64 years. Like I believe that that is still possible and I just also believe that both people have to be happy and if that's not the case and you try to work through it and it's just not something you see, like you just have to worry about you because if you're not happy and you're not in a good place, like the relationship will never be in a good place. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to talk about, obviously, and I'm sorry to let you guys down, but just know that it was something that had to happen, and I'm gonna be okay, he's gonna be okay, and you guys are gonna be okay. And obviously, like, moving into this house, like, getting all of my cats, like, I never thought that this would happen, and it sucks, 
but you know what life is never easy and you can't stay with somebody because of things that you have together so I am gonna be moving soon I already bought like a smaller place closer to my friends and family so that obviously is hard you know but there's way more important things than the materialistic aspects of life so just know that I'm gonna be okay and he's gonna be okay and you never know what the future brings, but I feel that this is the right thing for both of us at this point in our lives, and yeah, so maybe one day I'll talk a little bit more in detail, but for now that's really all I have to say about that subject. So I hope that answered your questions. I'm sure 90% of you are gonna click off at this point, but if you wanna hear some more questions, then just keep watching. Uh, Clarissa wants to know, are you genuinely okay? I genuinely am okay. I really, believe that like there was a long period of time where I wasn't okay and I wasn't myself and it was I was very unhappy like every single day of my life and it was also during a time where there were so many amazing things happening in my career so I was kind of you know on the outside pretending everything was good and trying to be as happy as possible but also just not being happy but I can honestly say like right now in my life I am genuinely happy I'm genuinely okay and I feel like myself again and I feel like the part of me that I felt that I lost I'm starting to get back and it feels good so yeah I'm genuinely okay grande world would like to know if you had the chance to do anyone in the world's makeup who would you choose <sighs> anyone in the world that's a very hard question because there's so many people that there's so many people's makeup that I would love to do, but I'd probably be so afraid to do it. Like, I had the opportunity to do Katy Perry's makeup back when she was doing, like, that live thing for her new album. And I turned it down because, A, I was super nervous. And I was like, okay, live. Like, that's freaking me out. And then also, like, you had to only use CoverGirl products because she is sponsored by CoverGirl. So I would have loved to do her makeup if I was able to use all of my own products so I would know that it would come out really nice. So I think that I would love to do her makeup. I haven't done anyone's makeup in a long time. Like I've done my sister and my best friend, which I know their faces so well that it's like doing my own face. But I really enjoy doing makeup on other people because, especially people that don't wear a lot of makeup because I just love seeing their reaction afterwards and them just like feeling really beautiful and them being like, like, I didn't know I can look this good. So, like, one night I actually had a bunch of friends over and we all had a few drinks and I was like, let's go upstairs and do makeovers. And I was, like, contouring everybody's nose. And I was sitting here listening to every single one of them, like, bash themselves and, put, like, rip themselves apart being like, I hate my nose, I hate this, I hate that. And I was like, give me ten minutes, let me just do a little bit of nose contour. And all of them were, like, just blown away. So I think... I would get more joy out of doing someone's makeup who's not used to wearing makeup or who's not used to having like full glam because it's really cool to just see their reaction to see like okay you know what like you're so hard on yourself but like if you took the time and did your makeup just like me like you'd look just as good it's just you know some people don't want to spend the time or they don't know how to do it so yeah so I guess anyone in the world I told you guys like who celebrity wise but maybe I should start doing some classes. I've thought about that, like doing classes like all around the US, maybe other countries, because I'm just a regular person. I know you guys see me as like more than that, but I'm just like a regular girl that looks absolutely regular without any makeup on. I just learned some tricks and I know how to like get myself super glam, so yeah. Cheyenne Kozuk would like to know, sorry if I said your name wrong. Hey beautiful, I've recently decided to start up my own beauty channel. Any tips and advice? What camera, editing software, etc. You always inspired me to switch over to the vegan lifestyle. I love you. Thanks for being such an inspiration. First of all, I love you. You're so sweet. Um, I think that's such an amazing idea. I always say to people, like, if you feel like you want to start a YouTube channel, you should do it. We are in the age now where social media has taken over and... It's so much fun, like this has been obviously the best thing that I've ever done in my entire life and you learn so much more about yourself and um, to answer your question, the camera that I'm filming on right now is my Sony A5100. I also use my Canon 5D Mark III. That's for like the blurred background and like the nicer quality. Um, so I use that. I edit with Final Cut Pro, although I did start with iMovie which comes free on the Max. I would recommend a Mac computer if you are going to be editing. Um, I did have a Windows and I just 
personally find that Macs are better as far as editing and stuff like that. I use a Manfrotto tripod. Um, I can do a video if you guys want where I show literally every single thing that I use to film. If that's something that you guys want, definitely let me know. Comment below. I could do that because I feel like me saying it and me showing it is completely different. And, I'll, and since I am using it right now to film, I can't really show you guys. But I think... Go for it. I think you need to just be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else and just have fun with it. Like you're alone in your room and I think that's the best part of it. I know so many people nowadays like have a whole production and have a million people behind the camera and all that. And I think although it looks amazing, the quality and all that, I think just being by yourself or maybe having just one person help you, um, you can really, really be yourself and you can just talk and you can just let loose and no one's here to judge you and for me I get super nervous speaking in front of people like that is one of my biggest fears which I will work on that this year that's definitely one of my goals of mine but when you're alone and you could be yourself it's a beautiful thing like when I first started I was shy even filming by myself because I was not even sure of who I was and you just find out who you are that way and by editing it back you get to you know see different parts of your personality and see things that you do wrong and things you should change and yeah so that's my so I think that is it for now I don't want this video to be like an hour long I hope I cleared up some of the questions that you guys have had I do apologize again for kind of being MIA not just the past month, the past like year I would say I have not really been myself and been as active as I normally have been and I promise that will change. I am now focusing just on myself and I'm trying my absolute best to get back to where I once was. So thank you guys for your support, your love, your amazing comments and your respect because honestly you guys have no idea how much you mean to me and how much you help me get through a lot of horrible times in my own personal life. But you guys need to know that no matter what is going on, as bad as it may be right now, like it will get better. You can get through anything. And the number one key is to just focus on yourself and get to a point where you're very strong mentally, physically, and anything that comes your way will be a lot easier to deal with. So definitely recommend some of those books that I was telling you guys about. Also, while I'm talking about those self-help books, um, the app Relax and Sleep Well. I've talked about that before too. I have been listening to that a bunch and it's just some guided meditation that you can do whether you want to do it during the day or while you're going to sleep. It's just really helpful and it's personally helped me a lot in my life. So thank you guys for understanding and for being patient with me while I was trying to figure out all the stuff going on in my own life. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.